Adam from developphp.com here once again with another web design video tutorial thing thing. What we're showing you how to do in this video tutorial is how to create opacity settings for your web page elements. So if you have divs, paragraph tags, image tags, pretty much any kind of XHTML tag, we're using a couple of CSS properties to affect that tag. That way we can see through it. Now if you're somebody that likes to use a flat page background color, this probably won't do you much good. But if you're somebody like me that likes playing off of the background within my web designs, then this lesson will go over well with you. If you have no idea how to get web page design backgrounds going for yourself, you can go to developphp.com and here in the CSS section, you'll see create backgrounds for your HTML web pages. You'll see various examples there that you can check out. The one I'm using is custom large image background in this case. Okay, let's jump into the page code. Let me show you how to get this going for yourself. First, let's take a look at this. Let's run it in Google Chrome. Say you have a page like this, and you have this div element there. Maybe that's a table or a paragraph tag or whatever. And you want to make it to where you can see through that element a little bit. So you're starting off with something you can't see through one of your normal page elements and we're going to make it transparent. So what you do is, and I'm going to warn you right now, you're going to have to have a little bit of CSS and HTML experience to get this going for yourself and understand actually what's going on. I mean, you don't have to have any experience to apply this code to a page, but to understand how it's working a little bit, you have to know basic CSS and HTML. Not so severe, but just a little bit. Okay, so what you do is, you find the element on page that you want to affect. You can see this div align center tag is wrapped around the element that I want to affect because I want that element centered in the page. You can see my element has an ID on it of element 1. And in my CSS, that's where I style up element 1. You can see it has a width of 700, the color, text align, the background color is black, the border is an orange color, one pixel solid, padding 24 pixels. So all I have to do is affect that element. You can see inside that element is all those uh, paragraphs of lorem ipsum. So that element one, the CSS, is where I'm going to put these three lines. I can zoom in on them nice and big. So these three lines right here are what you're going to add to where the opacity is set to 70% in all browsers all major browsers anyway. And you have to put all three of these lines in to affect all the various different browsers. I know it's a pain in the butt, but that's the way we got to do it. So if you wanted it to be an opacity of, let's say, 20%. Let's see what that looks like. Control S to save it. Run in Chrome. Let's check it in Chrome. So you can see it barely shows up. It's really cool the way that works. But for this case, I like something like 70% there. So there you have it. You simply apply those three lines to any element on page you want to affect in that element's CSS. And we'll take one last look at the finished product here in Firefox. And that is pretty cool. You can see all those nifty colors and effects going on in the background. The text is right on top of it. Anything that you put inside of that div or that container will also be affected. Its opacity will be affected.